Hello there, art friends. Today, we're going to be working on our My Winter Mountain art activity. For this, we are going to be using line and shape to make our very own winter mountain. Now, to start, we need to do the top of the mountain. Now, your mountain top can have as many peaks, the tippy top, the top of the mountain, as you want. But I'm going to draw three mountain peaks. Like that. Now, once we have our lines in for our mountain peaks, we're going to separate out the mountain with some sheets of snow and ice, some line designs that are going to separate them into different layers. Let's do a top layer up here, a layer right here, a layer all the way across, and one more layer all the way across. Now that we have our mountain separated out into these different layers, we can start filling in our mountain. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add in a few layers there and there too. Now, at the very top of the mountain, there's not going to be a whole lot. As we go further down the mountain, there will be much more things. At the top of my winter mountain, I think I'm going to put a little house with a chimney and a door. Now, it's up to you how you'd like to decorate your winter mountain, but in the layers, make sure to not do too much detail. I think I'll do some trees on this next layer. Now, how you want to draw your trees will be up to you. But it's about decorating it and filling it in as much as you want. I think for this layer, how about we do a few more houses? Chimneys. Now, I think as we get further down, there might be some animals. So let's draw in, how about some reindeer? Now notice I'm not going to complicated. I'm drawing them kind of easy. I don't want to do too much detail because these are going to be very small. Our mountain is huge, so we're not going to have too much detail on them. So don't feel bad about making them very simple. And you know what? I think some trees would be good too. And then our last layer down here, you know what? I think I'm going to put a friendly snowman. I'm going to put a few snowmen. That'll be good. Now that we've got our mountain covered up, we've got our mountain peaks, we've got our layers of snow. Now it's time for a little art magic with the rest of our supplies here. Art magic. We now have our pencil markered over and traced. Now, this layering helps us separate out the areas to fill it with different objects and gives us these individual areas. We can choose this layer to have the houses. We chose this layer to have some animals and trees. And this layer had some snowmen. I didn't add some clouds before because the sky is its own layer. I have clouds, but I could also add a sun or if it's nighttime, a moon and some stars. Now, let's finish this off with a little bit of color. Art, magic. 
Now, with my colored project, my winter mountain project, I've got all my colors here. But here's the thing. Seeing as how this is an art project, art friends, we can color our snow any color we want. And I think some purple snow would be very interesting. And I even used some of the purple snow on my snowman down here. If you're making this on Seesaw, follow those same steps as I just did, but in the drawing area given there. Draw the tops of your mountains, the peaks of your mountains first, add in your layers of ice and snow, and then fill in your layers with different items that you'd find on your mountain. Remember, it's yours, so use your imagination. Anything can be on your mountain. But think about some wintertime things. Maybe some people skiing or snowboarding. Maybe you skiing or snowboarding. Maybe some more winter animals instead of just the reindeer. It's up to you, our friends. Can't wait to see what you make. Have a great day.